when I'm holding instruments, I can't help but feel inspired. You can't help but feel, um... Well, you can't help but feel the, um, fingers of m- musicians from the centuries that have held instruments. You can't help but feel them fingering you, fingering, um, the uh, instrument through you. So... So I was, I was feeling inspired, but I didn't know what I was inspired about. I couldn't think of a, a thing. So I, I started reading the news, and I started reading about this guy called um, Reuben Carter. I don't know if you're aware of Reuben Carter. No, it's a story that's um, happening over in America, Reuben Carter. Um, he's a black guy. I'm saying it because it's relevant. Um, and he is currently languishing in an American prison... For a murder that he didn't commit. It's obvious he didn't commit. The evidence is there that he didn't commit it. Um, and yet somehow this guy is... He's in prison. And um, he's a boxer. Mm. Ruben Carter was a boxer. His nickname was The Hurricane. So I was just sitting there strumming the old mandolin and um, inspiration grabbed me. So what I did was I nipped, um, I nipped into my friend's studio, Abbey Road Studios, um, George Martin, and I laid down some rough tracks for a song that I've written. And um, I thought maybe um, I would perform it here this evening. So this really? is really. Do you think it's ready? This is. I, I, I think it's ready. I've got a feeling that it's ready. Goes a little bit like this. Pistol shots ring out in the barroom night. Enter Patty Valentine from the upper hall. She cries, he's the bartender in a pool of blood. Cries out, my God, they killed them all. Here comes a story of a hurricane. The man the authorities came to blame For something that he never done Put in a prison cell but one time He could have been the champion of the world You're going quite red. It's just a story that I felt very, very strongly about and um, I thought I'd help him with song. Three bodies lying there, does Patty see? And another man named Bello moving mysteriously. I didn't do it, he says, and throws up his hands. I was only robbing the register, you understand? I saw them leaving, he says, and he stops. One of us had better call up the cops. And so Patty calls the cops. And they arrive on the scene with their red lights flashing in the hot New Jersey night. If you've got any power, um, we need to get Ruben Carter out of prison. Meanwhile, far away in another part of town, Ruben Carter and a couple of friends are driving around. Number one contender for the middleweight crown. Had no idea what kind of shit was about to go down When a cop pulled him over to the side of the road Just like the time before and the time before that In Patterson, that's just the way things go If you're black, you might as well not show up on the street Lest you want to draw the heat The police, right. they're racist, racist police, you see And that's why Ruben Carter is in prison because of racists. Well, I've got another 16 verses. What? Alfred Bello had a partner and he had a rap for the cops. Him and Arthur Dexter Bradley were just out prowling around. He said, I saw two men running out. They looked like middleweights. They jumped into a white car with out-of-state plates. And Miss Patty Valentine just nodded her head. Cops said, wait a minute, boys. This one's not dead. So they took him to the infirmary. And though this man could hardly see, they told him that he could identify the guilty man. Oh, ah. three four 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 nine nine one thousand is the phone number. If you can help Reuben Carter get out of prison, let us know. Four in the morning, and they haul Reuben in. 
take him to the hospital, and they bring him upstairs. The wounded man looks up through his one dying eye, says, what'd you bring him in for? He ain't the guy. Here's the story of the hurricane. The man the authorities came to blame for something that he never done. Put in a prison cell, but one time he could have been the champion of the world. We'll also um, be giving away famous dead guitarists what? today. Four months later, the ghettos are in flame. Rubens in South America fighting for his name. While Arthur Dexter Bradley's still in the rubbery game. And the cops are putting the screws to him, looking for someone to blame. Remember that murder that happened in a bar? Remember you said you saw the getaway car? You think you'd like to play ball with the law? Think it might have been the fighter that you saw running that night. Don't forget that you are white. Racism, you see, it's racism. That's why I mentioned he was um, black earlier on. It's quite an important, integral part of the story. Only another five minutes to go. What? Arthur Dexter Bradley said, I'm really not sure. Cup said a poor boy like you could use a break. We got you for the motel job, and we're talking to your friend Bello. Now you don't want to have to go back to jail. Be a nice fellow. You'll be doing society a favor. That son of a bitch is brave and getting braver. We want to put his ass in stir. We want to pin the triple murder on him. He ain't no gentleman, Jim. Oh, three, four, 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 nine, nine, one thousand. Just under halfway through, Rubin could take a man out with just one punch, but he never did like to talk about it all that much. It's my work, he'd say, and I do it for pay. And when it's over, I just as soon go on my way up to some paradise where the trout streams. Fr oh, what? Where the? There is nice. Oh, ho, ho. And ride a horse along a trail. But then they took him to the jail house where they tried to turn a man into a mouse. It's an important story. There's a guy languishing in prison for a crime he didn't commit. Let me tell you about it. All of Ruben's cards were marked in advance. The trial was a big circus. He never had a chance. The judge made Ruben's witnesses drunkards from the slums. To the white folks who watched, he was a revolutionary bum. And to the black folks, he was just a crazy jigger. No one doubted that he pulled the trigger. And though they could not produce the gun, the DA said he was the one who did the deed, and the all-white jury agreed. Imagine if this was your dad in prison. You'd want me to sing. Ruben Carter was falsely tried. The crime was murder one. Guess who testified? Bello and Bradley, and they both boldly lied. And the newspapers, they all went along for the ride. How can the life of such a man be in the palm of some fool's hand? To see him obviously framed couldn't help but make me feel ashamed to live in a land where justice is a game. That's poetic license. This is in America, and I don't actually... Um, I don't reside in America. <clears throat> As I was saying, now all the criminals in their coats and their ties are free to drink martinis, watch the sun rise, while Rubin sits like Buddha in a ten-foot cell, an innocent man in a living hell. Well, that's the story of the hurricane. But it won't be over till they clear his name. And give him back the time he's done. Put in a prison cell, but one time he could have been the champion of the world. Ah. So if um, you've got any friends who work in the legal system in America that can help free Reuben Carter um, from incarceration, 
Um, then if you could find up America, the numbers start 001. I don't know any of more of us. Google it. Google it. Google it. Um, but while, while Ruben sits in jail for a crime he didn't commit, I'm going to be performing this song at the top of every hour no. of every show no. that I do. done today. Moonlit musings from mums, madams, Ooh. and meat packers. Oh, never mind, I must have misheard. The Late Night Alternative with Ian Lee. The station's brilliant. On Talk Radio.